What return I'll get? I'll say till double in three to four years. Only I give her the address of the Malashpi race course. <laughs> so you know the first thing is everything in life is about maturity. Sure. And don't be and don't start go on scaling your bets and invest your own money, not your father-in-law or father's money. Sure. See, first is you got to be in an industry which is growing. There has to be large opportunity. Sure. Right. Yeah. Second, I think corporate governance because see, corporate governance is a very wide word. Sure. Corporate governance is not only corporate governance attitude towards society, towards uh, customers, towards employees, towards stakeholders, sharing fairly, not taking undue risk. Economy is also part of corporate governance. Sure. Third, I think is technology and the ability to change. Sure. Fourth is you. There has to be frugality. Sure. You know, I give Indigo and uh, uh, Dmart and extreme companies who use who use frugality. Sure. And I think companies which are patient. Sure. You know, if the race is not going to get finished tomorrow, then I always think the tortoise wins against the hare. Sure. So growth is a process. Don't try to sidestep it. Sure. So, for long-term return, I think these are the basic principles, and I think recognize change. Sure. And you know, a lot of large companies can grow big. I find entrepreneurs don't want to give up the power. Sure. But companies where you delegate are the only companies which can scale. So you know, the expectations is you know are such the expectations are such unrealistic. People don't know that the world's greatest investor has compounded his wealth at twenty two. See if the return in other asset classes can be 10, 11 percent. See if the equity can give you 18 percent. I think be, for me, if I get 18 percent, I'm a king. If I get 20 to 1, 24 percent, I'm an emperor. So therefore, this approach and attitude that this is not a Maharashtra race course, right? And you can get a rate of return which is maybe 50 to 75 percent higher than other asset classes. I would say mutual funds investment firm because see, it's a specialized job. See when I get fever. I take some protein, protein, go to sleep, I get well in one day. My wife and my mother, they will insist on calling a doctor, right? So this is a professional help you need. Unfortunately, the kind of effort needed, alertness needed to be a good equity investor, you know, it cannot be a part-time job. If you're a full-time investor, why anybody can develop knowledge, understand, and invest on your own. I'll say in colloquial and then translate it in English. It says vadare vadare levano, gatare gatare bechvano. That means buy as the market is rising, sell as the market is falling. What is the wisdom in that and how do you use it? See Ramesh 20, I don't think for a good trader, we can, I think we don't initiate more than 40% of trades which are right. Right, suppose I'm bullish say on XYZ stock. Now I buy that stock. If it goes up, it's an indication of the fact that I'm right. We do what I call is pyramiding. I buy stock at 100, I buy more at 105, I buy more at 110. So what are markets, what is trading is basically momentum. So you play momentum. So if the market is rising, whatever, whatever, it's momentum is upwards. So you buy on the rise. If markets are going down, you sell on the, uh, sell on the fall. And this I don't mind. I don't indicate in long term trends and you know, medium term trends and short term trends. This applies to short term trends, medium term trends and long term trends. Are you then saying that a good trader should have this highest position outstanding at the highest price? Absolutely. Why not? Who knows what is the highest price? It's counterintuitive though, isn't it? I mean, most people have profits. Yeah. That's why out of 1 million traders, only nine, 90 or 100 really make money. What would you look for? I would look for, first of all, look for broad direction. Don't try to be an expert. Don't try to predict every move, every hour, every day. Right? Take a loss. Know what to stake. Right. I think this is, I think I, I mean, I feel confident to trade anywhere in the world. All what you need to have is a broad direction of the trend. Right. A very broad idea. Don't try to be an expert in it. Right. Know what to stake and when to take a loss. That means most people can't hold on to trading profits, right? Is that, isn't that the big problem? The well, it's a problem, but who knows, you know, I don't know, I watch on this TV, targets, what are targets? Who can predict anything? It comes a level at which I also feel that the price is unreasonable. But at that moment I'm alert that unreasonableness has to be combined with technical, you know, technical weakness. Then is only the move exhausted. So what is the profit? That means come? the lower tops for example or poor yeah. volumes or yeah. bad price action. Yeah, absolutely. Things like that. General trend. And you know then the general belief of, you know, just believe in the market. Just go up, there's no tomorrow. Never be afraid to make a mistake. Only make one you can afford.
सो दैट यू मे लिव टू मेक अदर बिकॉज इफ यू आर अफ्रेड टू मेक अ मिस्टेक यू कैन नॉट टेक एनी डिसीजन आई थिंक मार्केट्स विल गो अप बट इन एट अ स्लोअर पेस regardless of global developments i think indian markets will gain but they will gain at a slow pace